Today, I'm excited to share with you my latest mural project. I also wanted to give you guys a look into my mural painting process. I hope that this video can provide some insights as to how to paint your own large scale mural. And I'm gonna go over everything from start to finish. I hope that you enjoy. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about this project before we get into the painting process. It starts with an email through my website inquiring about a mural for a space at Woodbine and Danforth that repeatedly keeps getting tagged. The property owner Joel sent me over a photo of the wall along with some preliminary notes and he also sent over a pretty kick-ass drawing as well which really stood out to me. After a few emails and phone calls back and forth, we came to an agreement on the price and I got to work drawing up the mural design. Joel has lived in the area most of his life. I wanted the mural to reflect the historic nature of the Danforth and Woodbine area, while also embracing growth and change. A blending of the old and the new. I included an old streetcar that used to run across the Danforth, way before my time, some classic signage that was pulled from old photographs of the Danforth, as well as a barber pole as a nod to all the barber shops located in the area. Flowers grow into full bloom from the bottom of the design, and the star of the mural is this female figure holding a flower of her own. She's looking playfully at a hummingbird who's flying towards her. She represents new growth into what the Danforth is becoming, while the hummingbird is a symbol of good luck to come. I hope that when people see this hummingbird coming over the hill, that it brings them good luck on their morning or evening commute. The mural design was a big hit with Joel, and he approved the concept right away. Now, it was time to get ready to paint. This mural, like most of my murals, is going to be painted using spray paint. I typically use the brands Montana Black, Montana Gold, and Montana 94, but I personally like Montana Black the best. For this project, I actually had my material costs covered by a grant that I obtained through the City of Toronto's Street Art Division, also known as Start Toronto. My homie Thea is here to help explain a little bit more about the Start Support mural grant that I got. Hey, I'm Alethea and I'm the curator for Street Art Toronto's Start Support Mural Program. The Start Support Mural Program is a program for either property owners or mural artists to apply to, which helps bring murals to life on public facing walls for property owners who are experiencing repeated vandalism. They can apply and receive up to $2,500 in materials through the program. For more information, if you have uh, any interest in applying to this program, you can go check out streetarttoronto.ca or you can also email me at startmurals at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions. All right, guys, we just got to our wall here at Danforth and Woodbine. We got it right behind me here, this big wall. And uh, we're just waiting for our scissor lift to get delivered. So in the meantime, we're gonna start priming and getting that going. Let's do it. After priming the wall, I begin painting some random shapes. No, these aren't some cryptic symbols which translate to a conspiracy theory. They're actually used as a doodle grid. A doodle grid is a great method for artists to use to upscale their artwork without needing to use a projector. It entails using markings which can be shapes or random doodles that act as reference points. After creating my markings, I overlay my mural sketch directly onto a photograph of the wall. I can then see clearly how the artwork will fit onto the space and I can use this as reference while sketching my design onto the wall. Once I'm happy with the sketch placement, I print out the image and use it to begin sketching my mural. Once I get the sketch down, it's time to add some color and really bring this mural to life. My painting process involves a lot of layering. I start by filling in an area with a mid-tone, then add layers of shadow and highlights to give a definition. I then outline it with black and add black to the core shadows to really make it pop.
One of my favorite parts about painting public art is getting feedback from the public. Let's hear what some of the locals had to say about the mural as it came to life. It's so beautiful. Amazing. Nobody like it. Thank you, bro. Oh. <laughs> I've been walking out Woodbine for about 30 years, every day, every other day. And to see this piece of beauty and incredible art, it just makes my day and puts a smile on my face. And I thank you. Um, you know, I've been uh, driving by here uh, the last few days and I've seen the, the mural uh, uh, sort of take shape. And I really like what I see. It's, it's you know, the great addition to the neighborhood. And it's, it's lovely to see something on the back of this building. And especially one that looks as good as this. After painting here for a week straight, I realized how many people actually drove or walked by this wall on a daily basis. And it was cool knowing that my artwork would have a positive effect on a lot of people. I think it was safe to say that the mural was a big hit in the neighborhood. And now for the final mural reveal. Enjoy. I decided to name this piece Humming on the Danforth, and I'm very proud of how it turned out. I don't get to paint too many large scale murals in Toronto, so whenever the opportunity arises, I'm extremely grateful. I asked Joel to meet me at the wall for a reveal because he had not seen the mural since I started painting it. He arrived with his mom, who used to work in the building for many years, and they got to say a few words for me. This mural simply is sensational. It encompasses all of the things that remind us of the Danforth, but it also reminds us of how long we worked here and how much we loved this building. It was a medical building and we remember all our patients and we hope that the whole neighborhood enjoys it as much as I'm enjoying it right now. I'm son Joel, this is my mom and wishes do come true. <laughs> After all the years, mom is more than uh, More than grown, yes. And more, any more than grown, but it turned out to be sensational. Um, and we're just flabbergasted with the work that plays. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Well, guys, that's it for this project. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please consider liking and hitting the subscribe button below. It helps me out a ton. Uh, I have a lot more mural and artwork related videos planned for the future as well. So keep your eyes out for that. I'd also be happy to answer any questions that you may have about my mural process, mural artwork, or anything in general. Uh, so please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Um, thank you so much for watching again and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.